you're a golden bird, and it's time to talk about Ass Man Gold. Skip it up and that up. Review Asmon Gold USA. I feel like this is the month of talking about banned YouTubers and Twitch streamers, but here we are. It's a major problem, and it continues to need to be. You blew it. But here we are. It's a major problem, and I continue to need talk. You blew it. But here we are. It's a major problem, and I have to continue talking about it because I've never seen anything like this, especially when we discuss a tickled man. It, it, it's getting out of control and how these platforms are moderated definitely needs to change it, it both twitch and youtube do a bad job at it twitch is more consistent with doing a terrible job at either being overzealous with their moderation or their moderation being non-existent but we know what happened with youtube recently with uh mr quantum tv but anyway, this involves Asmongold, and he was torturing himself by streaming Diablo Immortal, um, and this is what happened. This comes from comicbook.com. I'll read it to you, then we'll discuss. Popular Twitch streamer Asmongold's second account, Zach Rara, was recently banned for hateful and unmoderated content in chat, except it wasn't his own chat going around unceremoniously throwing around slurs and insults. This ban was because a Diablo Immortal player typed out the gamer word with special text to get around filters in the in-game chat, something that Asmongold doesn't have much control over even with chat filters on. He noted in a YouTube video that he didn't want to give any attention, fearing that it would spawn copycats who thought it would be okay to do the same thing, so he just ignored it and spent a few minutes talking about why it was stupid to say terrible things, which should be common sense, but we're talking about the internet. Twitch suspended the account with no grounds to appeal, stating that he didn't do enough to scrutinize the racism in the game, the in-game chat that he doesn't have control over. And what is he supposed to do? Even in your chat, yes, you could have filters on and you should have filters on. I have filters in my live stream chat, but people find a way around it. And then, and then you, you get the bots that come in that try to, and yeah, I, I have a bunch of good mods that delete it, but stuff to, still slips through the cracks. And you ban someone for not only, it's not even their chat, which is tough to keep up with. And I can understand why people miss the stuff that people say. It's the in-game chat of a game that he was playing. Oh, God. Oh, that was a good excuse. I had to itch my nose. Oh, now that feels better. But you get, that's absolutely ridiculous. Now, he made a YouTube video talking about this. Of course, when with these platforms, you have to make a public stink for something to get done, and the ban was removed. But I still think this was an important story because it ties into everything else that's going on with YouTube and Twitch right now, and you guys need to figure something out. Look, I get that advertisers still think it's 1995 and that it, everything can be controlled. See, when, before there was user-generated content, on television, when an advertiser put a Coke ad up there or a Pepsi ad or a, a GMC truck ad, they knew exactly what their ads were going on. There was either a script because it was a television show or it was a heavily homogenized news broadcast. So it was like, all right, Everyone will want to buy our crap. No one's going to get offended. We're good. With live streams and with YouTube videos, I'm not going through a filter with the advertisers first. They're not checking my content first. They're not. It's I could upload essentially whatever I want to, and advertisers hate that. So what the platforms do to try to appease the advertisers, like, no, 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 put your ads, put your ads, put your ads, put your ads. If there's anything remotely offensive in any way even if the creator can't control it we'll ban him how about that will you put your okay we'll put the ads on there then that's okay yes yeah, so we're going to be absolutely ridiculous and unreasonable and shut anybody down who's if even with things they can't control that that's how they get the advertisers to slap their ads on there it's also too and i this I said this during a live stream, which you should sub to my live stream channel, RTU Streams. We have a lot of fun there, and we've been 
talking a lot about a lot of tickled men over on my live stream channel. Go check it out. Is I'm sure a lot of these moderators are early 20-something, I hate saying kids, but I guess I'm 40 now. I guess I can call a 21-year-old a kid. But anyway, they're young adults. They get out of college, and they don't know how the real world works. So they, there maybe was some 20-something-year-old mod there watching Ass Man Golds. I just like, I like Osman Gold. I actually watch his streams. I just like saying Ass Man Gold because I'm weird. Um, who were like, oh my God, there was a bad word in his stream, even though he can't control it. Obviously, it's his fault. And they don't really get how this stuff works yet. And what these moderators don't realize, and Asmongold said this too, is when you do things like this and suspend a Twitch streamer over something they can't control, especially, what does it do? It doesn't stop the trolls from doing it. It actually incentivizes them to do it more because it's like, wow, not only did I get this Twitch streamer banned, which got me attention, there's now articles being made about it. So I get a lot of benefit from this. Whereas if you just ignored the garbage, hateful stuff they were saying and say, look, just ignore it, move on from it. It's not okay. I don't condone it. But if you don't put the spotlight on them, trust, take it from a guy who used to feed the trolls and now does not. If you take the spotlight away from the trolls and you don't feed the trolls, they stop doing the same bad things over and over again. So uh, what I think it is, is that and these people who were like, you know, wet behind the ears who were, like I said, in their early 20s, don't realize this yet and they have to learn it. So I think that's what's happening, too. But. Beyond all this, man, what, what people have to realize, whether you agree with it or not, I know there's a lot of people out there who still hold firm that this is not a real job, is that people do make their livings on here. And we rely on the tools that are out there, the moderation tools, and we rely on these websites to protect us because they need us as much as we need them. Because it's our content that makes the money. And if we can't thrive on here because we don't have the right tools to moderate our content or we have overzealous mods who are taking us down for things that aren't our fault, we can't thrive on here. And if we can't make money, YouTube and Twitch can't make money either. So things have to change. This is Rich of Review Tech USA signing out. Have a good one. <laughs>